On countdown, if I worked out the number puzzle before the time was up, <laughs> I used to play a little game. That's where I've seen you before. <laughs> <laughs> so, David's team, what, what do you think? What, what, what little game? Um, well, on the numbers puzzle, you know, you used to do this and press the target yeah. and the number and then the target. And then there's would come a time up. limit. And then there'd be 30, so you had 30 seconds to do something. Yeah. Well, most of the time, I'd get the answer before the clock started. So I had 30 <laughs> seconds. Before the clock started? <laughs> So you must have despised the contestants. <laughs> Sitting there working away for the whole 30 seconds like morons. <laughs> what I used to do, I used to get my pen that I would write on the board with and I used to go round all the props boys and I used to make them tap the end of my pen and how many could tap the end of my pen in 30 seconds was the game. <laughs> So, how many props guys, props guys, yeah. were required in the production of Countdown? <laughs> well, Joe's been on Countdown a lot, so you know how it, we have uh, someone like Harry or Vince or Stan who do the water Carol, pouring. Carol, 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 and then Carol, 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 we had. Oh, yeah, had. <laughs> Did you ever vary the game at all? Was it always the same game? Sometimes. Sometimes, here sometimes we go. Sometimes I managed to get to the front row of the audience as well. You Occasionally, did, did you? a member oh, of the come audience. On. Those people can't move. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, you, did, you actually, did you actually think oh, this game up? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> I'll get her next time. <laughs> <laughs> Was this not distracting to the poor contestants who are trying to do some maths in out of shot? Uh, slightly out of shot, yes. Yeah. I feel sorry for this uh, this new girl that's doing the, doing the numbers because all the props guy must be going, oh, you'll have great fun on this show. <laughs> they would have said to her on the first day, are we, are we going to play Touch the Pen? <laughs> and got fired for sexual harassment. <laughs> We always play Touch the Pen with Karen. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just not like that. <laughs> David, what are your, you and your teammates thinking? Does it strike you as plausible? I think it's Larry? flannel, myself. <laughs> flannel? That's flannel. a great word. Flannel. You've been yeah. on EastEnders Three. too long, yeah. Larry. That is a lot of flannel! <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I missed a lot of that because as soon as Cal started describing the game, I had a sort of mental absence. <laughs> <laughs> I've done Dictionary Corner quite a lot. And but I you was... couldn't see me from Dictionary Corner, could you? No, I yeah. couldn't. Yeah. Well, what I doubt is whether you would be allowed, when the contestants are trying to work out the math, to run around the studio getting men to touch your marker pen. <laughs> Yes, well, so we think it's a lie, I think. I think we do. Lie. OK, yeah. what a surprise. Yeah. OK, Carol, is it truth or is it a lie? It is... <laughs> ..true. Oh. <laughs> well now then. Oh! <laughs> and do you know what? It actually is lots of fun. <laughs> You seriously did this? It was a ritual, and after about 15 years, it gets funny, really, when, you know... Wow. People, but that uh, is that's that's what we're hoping with this show. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, when I was being really cheeky, I'd take the top off, and then they all got dirty fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just like to behave outside of society's rules, don't you? <laughs> be surprised to find out you're an enthusiastic dogger. <laughs> <laughs>